Hello, everybody, and welcome to Westminster's Friday Fun. We're glad you're here today. We have some really great segments. First of all, we're going to show you uh, a history of our pavilion. And then we have our second Kids in the Kitchen episode. And I also want to remind you, Westminster folks, that we are having our two-minute film festival next Friday. And I am inviting everybody to send in a two-minute film it could be anything. It can be something funny, a comedy. I mean, in two months, you don't have much time to do anything. But um, please submit it by this coming Thursday. Anytime that day would be fine. And then we'll look forward to seeing the final, well, having the film festival on Friday the next day. Email or text those entries to me. You can see my Gmail account right there. Go ahead and send it to me. And then finally, we're going to have another big finish. Here's a clue. It's not me, though, I promise. And now here's a beautiful video that Rainy and Melissa put together. With a lot of help from a lot of friends, we built this beautiful Ruthie Carey Pavilion. Enjoy. Hello, my name is Rainy Wiesehigel. I'm the office manager and bookkeeper of Westminster Presbyterian Church. I am standing here in the Ruthie Carey Pavilion with a heart full of gratitude. I'd love to thank people like Tom Byerly who gave his heart and soul to this project over the two and a half years that it took to build. You're just an incredible man. For Tim Ryan, who did the fundraising aspect of the job, did you know that like 43% came, the funds came from friends and family and community of the Ruthie Carey family, as um, the remaining came from our Leffen congregation. I just think that's awesome. For Rick Oaks, who did all this landscaping, it is just absolutely beautiful. It doesn't matter the season that you're in, you can always find something just gorgeous. He not only did it for beauty's sake, he um, planted things that would attract the uh, birds and the bees and butterflies and squirrels that um, you can just sit out here and close your eyes and listen to the Lord's music. It's such a gift for um, people like Reed Ellis, who with his woodworking talents just made these incredibly beautiful tables and benches and other items that we can sit around in fellowship with one another. For a host of gardeners that came out and did things like um, the weeding and I can see from the church office like Tim and Joyce Ryan and um, Tom Byerly and Peter Tortorelli, Cindy Spangler and um, I know there's a host of people but I appreciate your just ever ending dedication to this living sanctuary. For Ed Babley and Rick Raw, who did the Wi-Fi and the security camera and um, the list just goes on and on. I hope it can be a place where people can come and fellowship and just may this place be a living testimony to such a beautiful lady. I thought it'd be fun to take my pictures and combine them with pictures from Peter Van Edem and Melissa Everett and Tom Byerly, and then the gorgeous pictures that Anne Allison Cote took at the um, dedication in August of 2019. And um, with Melissa's help, we made a video and the pavilion just comes to life. So thank you. Have fun. Sit back and relax. And um, like my minister says each Sunday, hallelujah and amen. Thank you so much. Your love is like radiant diamonds bursting inside us. We cannot contain your love, will surely come find us like blazing wildfire. Singing your name, God of mercy, see you love of mine. I have surrendered to your design. May this offering stretch across the sky.
notes like a lemon drops high above the chimney top. That's where you find me, oh, somewhere over the rainbow. The kids in the kitchen today are the Gustafson family. But as you're going to hear, I don't even really need to introduce them. Hold on. No. no. Hello. Welcome to Kids Cooking and welcome to Kids in the Kitchen. Today we are making, uh, I am, uh, my name is Lynn and this is my brother Wade. I'm five years old and uh, I'm five years old and Wade's uh, three years old. And, and who am I? And, and uh, my and this is my mom and mom. <laughs> Today we're gonna make chocolate no bake cookies with coconut oil, so they are dairy free oh. because we don't do a lot of dairy at our house because it hurts Mama's tummy. And we're gonna show you how we make those. I have been working on the chocolate sauce that goes on the chocolate peanut butter that goes on top, so I will show that you that very quickly. And then the boys will help me spoon them out onto our parchment paper. We well, we might add some sprinkles. You can do what you want. So just to show you what we use in our chocolate pan, well, sorry, which is cooling on the stove right now, we use. You stand right there, waiting. We bring all of our ingredients over. Any kind of old-fashioned oats that you want work great. Uh, we used some quick oats because it's what we had. So I'll show you what we used. We have just some Quaker quick oats right here. You're gonna need two cups of these. Oat milk, we used oat milk because we had it on hand. You can really use any type of milk that you want. Just peanut butter, cocoa powder, salt, it's okay. coconut oil, sugar, and vanilla extract. And we're gonna add some sprinkles apparently. We roll with the punches. So you need a half of a cup of coconut oil, a half of a cup of peanut butter, a quarter of a cup of cocoa powder, um, a quarter cup of oat milk, a teaspoon <laughs> of vanilla, and a half <laughs> teaspoon of salt. You're gonna put all of that Alexa. into a saucepan. Alexa. And Alexa. you're going, no, you're gonna cook it until it comes to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, take it off the heat immediately. I like to use a whisk to get all of the lumpy bumps out, and it makes a really Alexa. smooth texture Alexa. fudge. Wait, imagine dragons. Just imagine dragons. We're, this is the boys' choice for what we play while we cook. They've chosen Imagine Dragon. Okay, now the fun part. We have all washed our hands really well. Yeah. 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 And so we're yeah. gonna take the fudge. We have, our oats. we have our oats in the bowl. We started with two cups. The recipe I based mine off of calls for three cups, but we start with two cups and then we I add this add in half cup increments from there. Okay, shh, quiet girls. So we pour our fudgy sauce. It's very hot, boys, don't touch. We pour our fudgy sauce into, let me see, I'll give it right back, into the oats. You only want to bring that up to a boil, just so you know, you don't want your sauce to scald. So um, keep stirring or whisking the whole time that your sauce is boiling, boiling and then quickly remove it from the heat. Um, it will stay nice and fudgy and smooth and you won't have any scalded or burned spot. And I do recommend whisking a lot to make sure that you get all the lumps out because cocoa does burn um, pretty easily to the bottom of the pan. Okay. So we're at two cups of quick oats here, and depending on the type of oat and the size of oat you need, you have to add to, to make the texture a little bit less sticky. Um, and so I'm gonna add some. These don't look quite right to me. So I'm gonna come back over here with my half cup, full cup, and I'm gonna just fill it up halfway. It's cup. And now we're gonna pour that in. Five minutes. Keep stirring, but you have to keep the oats in the bowl. Slow stirring, slow, careful stirring. You have to hold the bowl with one hand. Hold the bowl with one hand. 
Good, that's really good, Waylon. Do I taste them? Not yet, nope. That's the hard part is you gotta wait. So because we use the coconut oil, hold on. Can I put me away to a test? Mommy, 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 mommy. We need to watch the rest of the movie. We'll watch the rest of our movie after we make our treats. So these treats, um, normally with the no bake cookie, are, okay, oh. we're gonna talk about food here. Normally when you make chocolate no bake cookies, when you have butter in them, they'll set up at room temperature and get hard. These, Mommy, however, shh, forgot to do the sprinkles. We'll do sprinkles in a minute. These, however, will be fudgier, and so they we like them best in the refrigerator. We keep them in the refrigerator, um, and we put them in between layers of wax or parchment paper, and then you can pull one out, and it's a really yummy treat. Okay, this looks perfect. The dough, um, the batter, it's really not a dough, it's a batter. You can see in there. The batter has lots of oats. Everybody's made these, but just the real difference is that with the coconut oil, they don't set up quite the same way. Mommy. So, shh, well, because we're making a smaller one, we're going to use a small teaspoon to spoon it out onto the parchment. Yeah. Okay, so. Let me do the teaspoon. Everybody gets a teaspoon. And let me yeah. show you guys what to do. Follow instructions. So, this is the part that's fun to do with kids. We just put a little bit, basically we fill up the spoon and then we spoon it on so that the size is really pretty oh, small. And you might have to use your finger, Waylon. That's okay, that's Waylon, good. Waylon, are you You can do it, Waylon. You have a spoon, you can do it too. So I spoon these out. I did it! Yes, you did, in little amounts. Now I'm going to let these set up to probably let them get to at least room temperature probably for the next 30 to 45 minutes. At this point, we'll move them over. Don't turn it up. I'm trying to talk. Don't turn it up. So we'll put those, we're kind of spooning them out in little bits onto the paper. That's perfect. And then when they set up, we're gonna put them I do a test for this? Yeah, into the fridge and have a yummy treat that's fudgy and delicious, but not too big. And uh, if you're really feeling like you need a sweet treat, well, me too. It. And it's about the size of a regular no bake cookie. So I hope you enjoyed this. We've already moved on to the spoon taste test. And it's time time for the taste. How do you think? All right, everybody get a little taste. Okay. Just a little one. I want to taste mine. You don't have to. Little scoop. Use your finger. It's okay. And mm, is it good? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Say bye. Bye bye. Say see you later. See you later. All right, everybody. Bye. Bye. Okay. For our big finish today, Bob is going to play. Well, a lot of the instruments he has in his accessories bag. I'd like to say he's playing uh, some of the bells and none of the whistles because all that you see before you is not even everything he has in that big bag. So enjoy our big finish for the day. Have a good weekend.